Aloha, I'm Dr. J.D. Armstrong. I'm a technology, education, and outreach specialist that works for the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy on Maui. Welcome to Astro Day. The project I have for you is to make a sundial like this one. To make the sundial, you'll want to print out of the template a pair of scissors, a piece of tape, and some instructions on how to get a good reading. Before I show you how to make the sundial, let me explain how the sundial works. The Earth rotates on its axis. This causes the appearance of the sun rising and setting. At different times during the day, the light will come in from different angles and will cast a shadow at a different location on the sundial. We have the locations marked with the time of day that the shadow will land on that part of the sundial. To use the sundial, you take it out in the sunlight and look at where the shadow falls and that will tell you the time. To make your sundial, you need to make three cuts on the template. The cuts are marked with green dashed lines and a pair of scissors. Then you need to make three folds. The folds are marked with blue dashed lines. So I first fold the template in half like this. And then I want to fold the other two in the opposite direction so that it makes a fin. So I fold them like this. Then I want to line up these lines so they're nice and straight and hold it in place with a piece of tape. And you have your completed sundial. To use your sundial, take it out into the sunlight and align the red arrow with true north. True north is the direction of Hokupa'a, the north star. If you're using a compass to determine north, you want to align the brown arrow with the compass needle. This is because magnetic north and true north are slightly different, and that difference varies around the world. This template was designed for Hawaii, so if you're using this somewhere else, you'll need to determine the difference between true north and magnetic north on your own. After you have your sundial aligned north, look at the shadow cast by the fin. The position where the edge of the shadow is on the scale will tell you the time. But now there's some corrections that you need to make. The first correction is because a time zone is about an hour wide. And by that I mean if we have a sundial on one end of the time zone and another sundial on the other end of the time zone, their readings will be different, and the difference will be about an hour. For Hilo, Hawaii, to correct for that, you want to add 24 minutes to the reading that you get from the sundial. There are two more effects that if you want to correct for, you'll need to use your instruction sheet. The first effect is caused by the fact that the Earth's orbit isn't round. It's more elliptical. This causes a slight difference in the reading on the sundial throughout the year. The other effect is due to the tilt of the Earth's axis relative to the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. That also will vary throughout the year. To correct for both of these, look at the graph in the lower right hand corner of the instruction sheet. Along the bottom you'll see the days of the year and up and down is how much of an adjustment those two effects are going to make.
For example, if I'm using my sundial in Hilo, Hawaii on May 7th, I go to May 7th on the chart and go up to the red line. The red line is at about plus three minutes. So I'll add that three minutes to the 24 minutes that I'm correcting for the position in the time zone. That makes a total correction of 27 minutes. So after reading the time from my sundial, I'm going to add 27 minutes, and that should give me about the right time. I hope you've had fun making your sundial and that you've learned something. Ahoy ho!